Our minds are divided between an elephant and a rider. And while we often think of the rider as the one in control of the elephant, we often forget that the rider is only the guide. We usually call our rider consciousness and our elephant unconsciousness. And it's the divide between them that makes us think we are right when we are actually wrong. And guess what? It doesn't matter how smart you are or if you're liberal or conservative. You are first and foremost human. This means that you are also bias toward yourself, your beliefs, and your values. Bias is simply when we think in a way that leads us to be wrong. It's unavoidable and hard to recognize. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of different types of bias. But one of the most familiar to us is called confirmation bias. This is when, for example, you see some politician on TV denying that the climate is changing and only legitimizes the facts that support her or his point of view. But why does this happen, and why is it in our nature to see the evidence on only our side of the table? Our brains have to understand a shitload of data, but it can't, so instead it takes shortcuts so that we can focus on what we think are the most important bits. These shortcuts are stored deeply in our unconscious mind and is the reason we create stereotypes. For example, when we grow up, we mostly see men as leaders and women as caretakers. Think about it, can you name one female US president? How about one actor that is typecast as a stay-at-home dad? Because of these life experiences, our brains create patterns and store them in our elephants or our unconsciousness. These patterns then turn into generalized thoughts and expectations about most things, in this case of men and women. It turns out that in many cases these generalized thoughts are wrong. Women can make pretty great leaders and men can be amazing stay-at-home dads. But even if the writer understands this, it's still hard to control what our elephant believes. This explains a lot about why our brains have these patterns and why they create stereotypes. But what about why we try to prove people wrong, even when we are wrong? A theory in evolutionary psychology says we evolved our ability to reason as a way to further our social agendas, justify our actions, and defend the groups we belong to. Why? Groups that work well together often beat groups that are made up of selfish individuals. In a way, we are all self-righteous hypocrites. Our elephants want us to survive so that our group dominates. Part of this means we often find evidence that supports a belief that we already have, rather than looking for the evidence that opposes our already held belief. And everybody is prone to this kind of confirmation bias, this video included. One recent example of confirmation bias is President Trump's nominee to lead the White House Council on Environmental Quality, Kathleen Hartnett White. Ms. White doesn't believe that human activity is a major driver of climate change and claims that carbon dioxide emissions is good for the environment. On one side, you have millions of people that will immediately call this bit crazy. But if you ask those disagreeers why, many of them won't be able to share the evidence to disprove her. Instead, they will go with their gut, aka their elephant, which can also be right by the way. At the same time, if you were to ask that crazy bitch Miss White why she believes CO2 is good for the environment, satellites already show a greening of the Earth, in part from the very small amount of carbon dioxide involved with using fossil fuels. She'd probably give you a list of her reasons, but wouldn't address the evidence on the other side of the table. She probably would also leave out the fact that she is a lobbyist for the Texas Public Policy Foundation, an organization founded by ARC conservative Christian billionaire James Leninger. This is an organization that has a mission to deregulate markets and has been funded by ExxonMobil, Chevron, and other companies dubbed the who's who of Texas polluters. She might also leave out the fact that she's a bad person and doesn't really care about how her actions affect others. For example, she voted to build coal plants near Dallas even when the mayors and officials of those areas strongly opposed it. Let's just say that Miss White's elephant is fucked up, but because of her bias, she as the writer probably doesn't even know that and probably thinks she's doing the right thing. And this is why she, you, and I are all often wrong. We forget that we can be wrong, and it's especially hard for people that have been stereotyped as smart their whole lives to admit that their elephant is in more control of them than they are as the writer. And as an expert, it might be even harder to say, I was wrong, and harder still to say, I don't know. Miss White is an expert, and so are thousands of other scientists and policymakers. But as an expert, politician, teacher, human, or whatever, it's our responsibility to make decisions and judgments that are as bias free as possible and admit when we are wrong or simply don't know the answer. Unfortunately, those in leadership are often the ones that are least likely to do that. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, like, and share this video. It all 